All right, let's address the comment section real quick. The Astros are a dynasty of cheating. <laughs> okay, okay. I understand. I've memed them too. Let's get that out of the way. We know it is what it is. The Astros are a damn dynasty, whether you like it or not. They won the World Series in 2017, and they've been in three World Series since then, and maybe on the brink of getting to a fourth one. This seems ridiculous, and I think we all sometimes wonder how they do it. And before you guys say, you're some Astros shield. No, I'm a Red Sox fan. I hate the Astros. But what the Astros are doing right now is not banging on trash cans, at least I think. And is instead, they are winning because of the talent that they have on the baseball field. The playoff Astros are one of the greatest teams on the planet every single postseason. Keyword, by the way, every postseason. This team has more playoff experience than literally any other team. Playoff experience is not something that you can buy. It is not something that you can teach. It's just one of those things that you had to be there for. It's been no different this year either, and the Astros are on a freaking mission to win the World Series, and it's super obvious on how they're doing it. They were a one seed, so of course they skipped the wildcard round, and they immediately got into action in the ALPS. They were playing a Red Hot Twins team that played really, really well in the wildcard series. But the Astros were way too much for them. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I have not valued the Astros like how I should have. I have not thought of them as some massive threat this season in the AL. I haven't. I have not. But they are, and you know what? They just keep proving it. Going into this series against the Rangers, we were really unsure about the Astros. You know, the Rangers were red hot. So why were the Astros going to be the team to stop that team? In Game 1 and Game 2, the Rangers did beat the Astros. The Rangers were clearly playing at a very high level that was really just a mismatch for the Astros. But as I said earlier, the Astros have playoff experience, and this is exactly where that came into play. A team that has playoff experience is going to be able to get over the bumps in the road. The Astros have done just that, as they tied the series yesterday to make it a 2-2 series. Suddenly, the Astros are alive, and they are well. They have one of the most clutch players of all time on their current roster, and he's doing absolute wonders for the team right now. That player is none other than Jordan Alvarez. He's a freaking giant. He's a big guy, right? He's able to do big things. And as a Red Sox fan, this guy yells Big Poppy in the terms of his clutchness. It's also really nice to have one of the most reliable players in the sport, of course, Jose Altuve. Altuve was pretty much dead the first few games, but not nah, he came back. He came back for the Astros, and he's hitting the baseball exactly how he needs to do for them to win. No team has ever won a championship series after losing the first two games at home to start the series. If the Astros manage to do it this year, it would just make it that much more special. This is their seventh straight ALCS, and another World Series win, I think, would for sure solidify that they are a dynasty. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. It definitely does help out a lot, and peace out.